with nearly a quarter of Uganda's gross domestic product GDP being spent within the information and technology platform. Retaining value on transactions remains critical. So we intend to bring a law on e-government uh, enforcement to mandate all other agencies of government to consider going online, not just as an option, but as an accountability milestone to work for in the expenditure of public resources. Then the ICT minister was speaking at an inaugural awards for ministries, departments and agencies of government who are posting good indicators for online services. NITA's strategic intention is to guide government from an environment that had isolated MDS systems built in silos with high maintenance costs to an environment that will have IT infrastructure that is interoperable interconnected government MDS systems with lower IT maintenance costs. International rankings such as the annual ease on doing business report spearheaded by the World Bank has often returned a weaker position for Uganda, including around automation of services. For us to facilitate investment in this country to take us five months, right on the Prime Minister, I want to tell you it is now five days but we believe by the end of this year, it will be two days. And by next year, we want it to be only hours. Prime Minister Dr. Rwakana Rugunda says that there is an improvement on Uganda's online service index. Government services have been automated with 81 service on, services online. As a result of this, the government said 7 million working hours in the year 2018 alone. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.